Rheumatoid arthritis is commonly treated with a medication called methotrexate, which helps relieve symptoms and prevent long-term damage. Methotrexate can be very effective for many with RA, but it's normal for some people to have concerns about starting this medication because of side effects or what they've read or heard from other patients. We ask a group of people living with RA to share their experiences with this. These are the perspectives of other patients. This is not medical advice and should not take the place of professional medical care. You know, you, you go online, you see all the stuff about hair falling out and all this other stuff, and you get a little nervous. And, and I'll be very honest, I was a little nervous behind taking it, but because I was just so out of control, I decided to start taking it. I had known somebody in my family who had been on methotrexate for uh, a lot of years and had had some side effects from it. And so when I first got diagnosed with, with arthritis, one of my first thoughts was, man, I really hope I don't have to get on methotrexate. So I put my doctor off on that for a while. I asked if I could use other medications rather than methotrexate to get started. You know, I had various successes and, and failures with the other medications. And so I did take methotrexate. I started and honestly, I did not feel physically side effects from it. I didn't feel a whole lot of relief from it either. But at one of the, uh, the labs where I was doing blood work, I got a, a less than satisfactory liver result uh, with the methotrexate. And this was about six months in. And so um, I asked to get off. After being on the medication on methotrexate for almost nine years, it's definitely been, you know, a great drug for me. It's, it's not um, been the scary medication that I thought it would be, even from the GI side effects being manageable, the fatigue being manageable, to not having any lab abnormalities. There's things that we check. So overall, it's helped control my disease very well. What are your tips for managing methotrexate side effects? Probably one of the biggest things that I learned was that taking it later in the evening at night so you can sleep through the night for the most part, mm -hmm. that really helped me uh, tremendously because when I first started taking it, oh, I'll take it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Oh boy, the uh, you know the the nausea, which is which is a part of it, a little bit of it. Um, you know, sometimes I got some headaches. I experimented through the week. So, what is the best day to take methotrexate? And it slowly turned out that it's toward the weekend, so Fridays. And one other thing that I do remember that I do, uh, I also will eat like a, a, a cup of yogurt just to help sort of uh, soothe my stomach a bit and um, that works out fine. I think my biggest challenge with methotrexate was the anxiety I felt actually before taking it. And so I started trying to associate that day before and the day off methotrexate with something positive. So something to look forward to. Now I'm at the point where I have to give myself a shot. And once I started doing that, um, the side effects really went down. It was it was amazing how from going orally to taking it uh, IM, uh, in, intramuscular, really made a huge difference. What advice would you give someone with RA who is about to start methotrexate or who has concern about it? You're not alone. A lot of people have these fears, so it's not something in your head. Speak it out, acknowledge it. That's the first thing. I think the second thing is it's one day, you know, I keep telling myself it's one day in the week that I'm not going to feel good compared to weeks and months of my RA pain feeling much better. My advice would be to keep an open mind about uh, treatment options as great as managing your diet and exercising and doing all those other things are. And we would all prefer not to be on medicine, I promise, all of us. You may need to give some medicine a try. That may be methotrexate. It may be something that sounds scary, but surround yourself with people you can trust who are listening. And if those people are counseling you, you need to be willing to accept that counsel. 